Hello and welcome to the weekly wrap-up video for this Friday, February 16th, 2024. It's been a busy and productive week for me. I'm sure it has for all of you as well. I uh, was able to get out here to South Florida to spend time with my mom for her monumental birthday and spend time with family as well. So I'm enjoying that and I pray you had a good week in all the uh, chaos and panic as well. So we had a, a good list of interviews this week, uh, starting with Monday with Joe Williams, who gave his geopolitical expertise, and uh, he's gonna be coming back and joining us starting next month. Eli Weber that we had as well, also giving his take on Nessera and how to change our mindset for the upcoming future that we're all anticipating. And we'll have a video out this uh, today that we did earlier this week with Delora O'Brien. It was a live show, so it was rapid fire chat regarding the reset and the currencies and all the mechanisms regarding the reset, including crypto. So you can get my take on that for those of you who haven't already heard it, <clears throat> give you the latest updates. Uh, this upcoming week, we have some great interviews. We have Francine and Alan uh, from Upfront and the Prophetic, and of course, the one and only SG Anon. We'll be doing that on Monday. On Thursday, we'll have Rod Steele for return engagement. And then Friday, a good friend that I used to be on his show several years ago, and now I'm returning the favor like we've done with Joe, Dr. Scott Young, who is also a very proficient expert on all things Nessera, will be giving his take on the biblical times that we're in and how Nessera relates to all of that. <clears throat> now for the updated news for the week, the summation, if you will. Uh, Morgan Stanley lays off hundreds in wealth management unit, which is pretty interesting because that's the unit that a lot of banks are supporting for our exchange, but that's on a retail level. <clears throat> this is on a, a much more macro level uh, for the higher wealth earners. So it tells you that the wealth transfer and the wealth distribution is being shifted in many different ways, this being one of them. Nike to lay off 2% of their workforce starting this week. Gold regains over 2,000 after Deep State tries to suppress it down, it starts to make a return. Uh, XRP is recognized by the World Bank according to a formal Ripple director. No surprise there, we knew XRP was gonna be the kingpin of the blockchain and some of the larger organizations are finally starting to recognize it as such. This is the key right here, Zimbabwe, according to the IMF and BRICS being supported by both, is going to back all forms of money in gold. That includes the bonds and the Zim dollars that many of us are holding. <clears throat> China and Russia are starting to exert their MOUs, which is memorandums of understanding, in order to force pressure on Iraq to reinstate their currency. Because as we know, the U.S. deep state does not want that to happen because they hate competition. <clears throat> it's going to happen anyway. That feeds into what we talked about last week with the banks, some banks, I should say, um, not allowing the RV for one to three weeks until Prime Minister Sudani removes said sanctions and then all banks will honor the exchange. So just be patient when the RI is announced. Student loan debt forgiveness for those experiencing hardship, more Nessera. NATO is predicting a massive Trump victory. No surprise there. GOP impeaches Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas by one vote, but they did get him out and there are more to come. Speaking of the segue, there will be pressure on the Biden who will be taking a physical. We believe that's going to be the setup to get him out. In that physical, they're going to omit giving him a cognitive test because doing so uh, would su subject him to the 25th Amendment. So they're gonna let him go due, uh, due to an undisclosed medical illness. If he was shown to be competent, then he would be able to stay on trial and all the pardons that he's given Hunter and the rest of the Biden crime syndicate would be thrown out of court immediately. So he's trapped against the middle. And it's just a matter of time. Some people believe Kamala will take over. Some people believe uh, Michelle slash Michael will take over. Guess we'll find out and see how it all plays out. So if anything major comes up over the weekend, we'll do a breaking news short. Otherwise, we'll see you next week for the interviews and the next week's wrap up. Have a great uh, Friday and enjoy the rest of your week. Take care and God bless.